here the Computex 2017. And who are you? I'm Adam. I'm with the demo team. And here's the awesome uh, Samsung Chromebook Plus. I have one of those. Uh, so this is pretty smooth, right? Yeah, it's a really nice, really nice experience. It's uh, more like a, a desktop or a laptop experience, and a, an interesting form factor. You can take this, use it as a as a laptop. Or you can flip that round. Uh, we can take out the stylus if we can find it, and we can use it as a as a tablet. So, so I can. This is the Exacore ARM Cortex A72 and 53. Yep, big little. Big little. Super smooth. Amazingly awesome. I mean, It'd be nice if it was for sale in the UK, right? Yeah, I, I would love one of these. Maybe, maybe I can live without the, the you can UK buy it on keyboard. Amazon.com. They ship worldwide. And uh, and here's the Samsung. This is the S8. Dex. This is the S8 with the Dex. Um, so that extends the, the phone out to a, a, you have your HDMI connection to USB, and it, you plug it in, and you have a, your full um, desktop experience again. And it's just beautiful. Implementation nice, of nice and responsive, uh, nice and fluid, drag the windows around. And, and it's, it's running an amazing 10 nanometers, 10 nanometer. Uh, so that's, yeah, this is the, um, the Samsung Exynos, the M2 Mongus uh, processor, uh, Mali G71 GPU. There we have it, Exynos Mongus. Mongoose 2, we call it. Yes, yeah. Uh, so crazy fast performance, and finally uh, a way to output the phone on a bigger display yeah. and so you, really have a nice UI. So you bring your mobile device home, you don't need a laptop or a PC, you just plug that right in there, and, and that's your, your home office. And I think it, it's the argument, right, that all these Android apps, they are for ARM. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah, optimize for ARM, so all this is perfect. Yeah, exactly. And right here in the Chromebook, you have all the Android apps, so. So you, you have your Chrome, you have your traditional Chrome OS apps, and you now also have access to the, the Play Store and Android apps as well. So you, um, your Android cool. app will run on the full screen. Whoa! Yeah, let's yeah, uh, switch off the sound. And here, yeah, there's some other devices uh, like this. What so these, these are the Dash headphones. Uh, see, these these are smart earbuds. Um, can you so take them out? I can take them out. They'll turn on when I when I plug them in. Oops. So the um, that, that what that gives us is is gesture control. So if we have an incoming call, I can I can nod my head and that'll pick up the call. It's also uh, monitoring my my heart rate um, through my ears. Nice. That's it a, even it even can do a, a translation. The the pro version of the dash it also does uh, translation. So if you listen to something in a foreign language, it will it will translate that into your language and, and play that back to you. And that's using a, a NXP yeah, Kinetis K twenty four Cortex M four. Yeah. So the so the M four talking to the um, the A series in the phone, and that's that's doing the has a connection to the cloud. And uh, over here we have an umbrella A twelve W for uh, the video camera. Yes, so that's a, that's a Cortex processor combined with Ambarella's own uh, ISP to do the, the image processing. And this is very simple. One, one button pass, push that, and it's now, it's now filming you for 10 seconds. And it will automatically Snap. transfer that to the phone and push it up to my Snapchat account. Snap, snap up. And over here is a, a really cool this is the Huawei. Huawei. A Huawei P10 Plus. It's the Q960 silicon. Again, it's the uh, Mali G71. Uh, GPU, uh, big little A73, A53, so good, nice, real, um, real good performance as well. This is the Pixel and MediaTek X30 is coming out with a 10 nanometer also Deca core. This is a this is a developer device. We're expecting the consumer devices to be to come out for the X30, X30 basically nice. this month. And uh, what are you showing here with the orange? So here we're doing a a demo of this is a calorie counting. Um, so we. This is using the ARM Compute Library. If I show the tangerine there, pumpkin seed, apple. And it it's, recognize it automatically. So it's it, offline. It's all offline. It's using machine learning to detect the food and there's some computer vision to try and guess the volume. And from that, it's trying to guess the, uh, the weight and the number of calories in that meal. That's just a, a proof of concept of uh, what the kind of thing you can do with machine learning, computer vision at the edge offline. Uh, and use it, again, using the ARM Compute Library to run that on the, the CPU and on the Mali GPU. Nice, this is awesome. And this is just running on the Huawei. This is yeah, Mate 8. Mate 8 or 9? Yeah. <coughs> and here you're showing foveated 
Um, I think we've lost. Uh, yeah. I think we've lost it. But it's in there. So so uh, so here we're here we're doing foveated rendering, and so we have some. These are infrared LEDs in the, the handset here. Sorry, Can they, we take the handset out? Yeah. Try to look in. So you modified a Samsung Gear to have uh, IR and camera. See the mirrors there, and there's a camera just just in the middle, and that's actually watching the the user's eye uh, as they're using the headset. And because of that, we can we can optimize um, the rendering process. So we we only render in high quality where we know the user is is looking. The rest of the frame can be lower quality, and that saves bandwidth, saves power. Um, um, so it's it lets us. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so when you have like, uh, let's say a 4K VR display, yep. uh, it would be pretty much bandwidth to render everything, but you could maybe consider rendering just the part you're looking at. Exactly, exactly. And then you would have saving on bandwidth, saving yeah, on yeah. power consumption. Saves, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you can even have future, even higher resolution VR. Potentially, yeah, by, by, by only rendering in high quality exactly where it's needed and lowering it elsewhere. So over here is uh, something going on with the ARM Cortex R52. So the, the R52 um, is, is from the, obviously the R series is, is, is targeted for uh, real time or safety critical systems. Uh, this is a, an automotive demo here. And what we're showing is the, the R52 introduces the, the hypervisor uh, to, to the R series. And here we're using, we're running two separate uh, pieces of, of software, um, two virtual processors. So we've got one that is running the air conditioning system here, and one is controlling the door locks. And what you want is here, if I introduce a fault into the uh, air conditioning system, you see that stops responding, we get the warning light, but our doors can still open and close. So you have two, two safety critical systems, and, but they're, they're separated, so you can crash one and the other one keeps running. And it runs on the new R52 uh, real-time Chip. So here, this is this is what we call a, a fast model. This is a, a software simulation. It's something as developer tool that we we provide so that the software developers can start developing their software before the the real silicon's available. Nice. And uh, let's grab this awesome uh, gigabyte board right here. So what you is it here? fragile? Can we grab it up? Um, it's yeah. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. But right here we have. Uh, um, this is so. Uh, so this is the X, this is this is pre-production. This is for the the Thunder X2 processor. Yeah. Um, so the Thunder X1 is obviously is available, um, and that's that's targeted more to traditional server loads of web services. It's right here. This, this is on the right. Uh, the Thunder, Thunder X2, X2. Uh, takes that up to high performance computing applications. Um, but as you can see, we're missing some components here. It's not quite. This is this is a pre-production board. This is it's not beautiful. Yet. It's awesome. Uh, I need to do an interview with these guys. So. Sure, I can put you in touch. X, X2. So these are the latest demos, and there was also uh, the whole world of. Uh, um, assistants, they all are part in the world. Yeah, so we have uh, the uh, Google Home, um, the uh, voice recognition, and the, the, the Home Hub. Uh, we have a, a smart camera here, it's also using an umbrella, SOC, um, so that can do people detection. So if you use this as a home security camera, it can tell the difference between your dog running around and maybe some person in your house who you weren't expecting. Um, you can do, also do things like uh, people counting, so if you have a shop or a cafe, you can use that to monitor the number of people that are coming through your, your shop. Nice. Is the light uh, arm powered? No, no it, it could be, right? It, it could, actually, um, we do have a, a smart bulb. But you do it's, have it's a smart, smart bulb. doing anything smart okay. at the moment. It's just it, a could, light. it could be like a speaker or something. It's probably arm. It probably yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. No problem.